all right, what's the simplified form of each expression? Well, we want to deal, once you see these variables having coefficients, we want to just multiply the coefficients individually. We're going to separate those out and deal with them first. So what is 2 times 5? 2 times 5 is 10. That is going to be your coefficient. So you can already see it's going to be A or it's going to be C, not these two. Okay, And then you should also know that when you're multiplying variables or when you're multiplying uh, powers with the same base, b to the negative 1 and b to the 10th, we're going to add those exponents together. What is negative 1 plus 10? It is 9. So you get 10b to the 9th. That is answer A. Okay, let's keep going. Um, just like before, we're going to multiply the coefficients separately. And 2 times 5 is 10 once again. I'm going to erase those marks because I want to be able to see which ones are x's and which ones are y's. So what are we doing now? We're taking the x terms, and we are, since we're multiplying, we will add the exponents. x to the 8th and x to the 5th is x to the 8 plus 5, or 13. And y, there's only one y in there, and it's raised to the 10th, so it's going to continue to be raised to the 10th, like so. So what do we get? We've got 10x to the 13th, y to the 10th, and that is D. Fast and easy.